Hello Miss Sweetie Pies, welcome back to my channel. Now it's currently Friday. My sister just texted me and said that on a what is the thing we bother me boo in the car? Temperature saying it's 40. Right, for anyone who's not watching in the UK, we are all today sweating the frips off because it's hot. Now me and he we don't get on. Unless I'm near a swimming pool or the sea, I'm not interested in this heat. Fat people sweat, you know, it's a known thing. The bouquet sweats. Fruitless don't really sweat under, well maybe a bit, but they're not that big, so I'm not, I'm not so bothered, all right? But the books, it sweats. The batty sweats, you know, everywhere just sweats. I'm a large lady, larger. We sweat sometimes, you know? Never fear though, the shower is in there. So we're all right, we're all right. And I'm gross, and I? I'm gross. Anyway, so I've got some stuff from my lovely Julie to show you that she sent me because she's always a thorn in me. Uh, but before I do, I hope you're not all right. Um, and all that milarkey. I hope you're not too hot. And if you are, get an ice cold. Now, I can't add alcohol because got fatty liver disease but if you can have a nice, you know, a nice, sh oh, nice shandy oh I do love a shandy but shandies make me like make you a bit roundy the old shandy I'm joking well so I'm joking I'm joking though am I though I'm joking though I don't know but anyway um but before I do I want to give a big shout out to my lovely little angel that's her name by the way angel she's my bestie's um, little girl well she's not so little because she's starting secondary school uh, she's left school today for good and she'll be starting secondary school but um, she did a really wonderful play, Matilda it was, and she was Mrs. Trunchbull, Miss Trunchbull, and she done really well. Hello, darling. One minute. Two minutes piece you don't get in this house. That was Moomin Troll. She's got something red on her neck. She just got out of the shower and she said, Mum, what is this? What is this? It's just like, it looks like a school. But it ain't. She ain't schooled herself, so I don't know. Keep an eye on it. I said, it's nothing, it's nothing. Our chondriac bad as a mother. So, yeah, so um, Angel was in Matilda and she played Miss Trunchbull. Her mum sent me all the videos and she done so well. So, I just want to say, well done, Angel, for your brilliant performance in Matilda. And uh, maybe you should carry on doing some acting because it looks like that's what you're good at, darling. Anyhow, Winnie you before I get on with Majule. Oh, I well, love you truly, and I want you only to be, to be my very own. And that was Shaking Stevens with, oh, Julie. It wasn't Shaky, it was me. <laughs> anyway, so, um, I think I want to tell you some facts today, because I think you, you've been getting away with it too long. I've not done them for a few, few, few times, and I bet you're all like, yeah, so glad I have listened to her stupid facts. Well, I'm sorry, you've got to listen to my stupid facts today. What the hell was that? I'm a twerp. Right, oh, I've got a Chishnaz bucket. Almost half of all Americans today are classified as living in poverty or barely scraping by. 46.4% pay no income tax. Well, I mean, I don't know about now, because like I said, I don't know when this uh, 1,227 facts was done. I've looked for the date on it, and I can't seem to find it. So, I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, it's not a nice thing to know about people living in poverty, is it? I mean, I I had this conversation. Who did I have this conversation with? But I had it with someone, and I said, I think this day and age, it doesn't matter what. Nobody should be starving. Nobody should be starving. You know, like all the, the hungry children in Ethiopia and all that, and I'm not just Ethiopia, but other people. Listen, no one should be starving. And what makes me laugh, you get all these billionaire celebrities, feed the world, can you donate uh, 10, not, not 10 pounds, a pound or five pounds, and to help these, why about you do it, Mr. Billionaire? 
It wouldn't even touch the sides of your pockets. That's what pisses me off. When you get all these billionaires standing now, I see once with Oprah and The Rock once, asking for money. I thought, why don't you dig your hands deep, right deep into your pockets and give out some of your dosh, eh? Why don't you do that? Instead of asking just normal people that have to work all day and can't even pay their bills, but you're asking them, I want to donate some money to help these starving children, which I might hasten to wait. I'll still starve in the following year and the year after that and the year after that and the year after that. Ran over, all right. The US has more lawyers per capita than any country in the world and twice as many prisoners as lawyers. That probably is because it's a big country, right? I mean, I'm big, probably being a bit thick here. The US has only 5% of the world's population, but almost 25% of its prison population. Does that mean that a lot of Americans are incarcerated? They should stop being criminals then, shouldn't they? That's all I can say, sorry, I've got nothing else to say on that, I don't know what to say. Since smoking was banned in 2004, yeah, which they shouldn't have done, and we should have all stood up, yeah, and said, if we want to smoke in there, we're going to do it. But no, we just go, oh, we can't smoke anymore, let's just do as we're told. It's a problem, just to do as we're told, we need to not do as we're told. Because I'm hard, all right, don't mess with me. <laughs> Since smoking was banned in 2004, the main currency in US prisons is... Macro. Do you know what? I reckon I know why they have macro. It's making me gag right in the back of my throat here. I can't say because my channel's family friendly. All right, my channel's family friendly, but maybe. And I'm trying to think of a way to say it that you that don't sound too vile. It's going to sound vile no matter what I say. Let's just say some humans maybe in the morning don't smell very let's just say clean maybe the prisoners mind you it didn't say men prisoners did it maybe not it didn't say men prisoners it just said US prisoners why is it all, as soon as you hear prisoner you think it's a fella the fellas don't think of the women like as if women are not criminals but it's mainly fellas so let's just go on the fact it's fellas right and they want mackerel, maybe they close their eyes and smell the mackerel. No, I can't say no more. I think you know where I'm going with this, don't you? Yeah? They might think the mackerel smells womanly if they close their eyes. Oh, the thought of it. The thought of it. Well, if I was in the prison, they wouldn't need the mackerel. They'd just send me around, all right? And I'd do all right. Anyway, that was a 1,227 facts to blow your sucks off his ears. Right, before I get into this all, I was like, I was watching on the buses the other day, you know, oh, oh, oh. and it's really weird how times change because, like, my nan, she used to say off instead of off. If you listen to a lot of the people from back in the day, they would say, oh, it's terrible, terrible, not terrible, 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 terrible time, I had a terrible time. Or they'll say, instead of the word, like, when we say for, they would say, what'd you do that for? For. So it sounds like they're saying the number four, but they're not, they're saying, what are you doing that for? But they'd say, oh, it's terrible, terrible. What are you doing that for? Leave off. And if you watch on the buses, they all talk like that. And when I watch it, I'm like, oh God, just reminds me of my nan. Because that's how she used to talk. She would say, leave off. Leave me fags alone. Because me and my sister would always <laughs> touch her fags. And she used to get the right ump. And me and my sister wrote a song like this. It goes, leave off, off, off. Leave off, off, off. You sing it to her. She used to get the ump. It was only little. Leave. Oh, oh, oh. But anyway, yeah, I don't know what I told you that. But yeah, I was watching on the buses, and when you look at it, it's like it was such a different world back then, and it was better. You know what I mean? I don't care what anybody says. There's hardly any traffic on the roads. Uh, you, your life was free. Your life was your own. You could say what you want, do what you want, smoke where you want. 
Do you know what I mean? It was free. It was free. You were free. You're not free no more. You get dictated to what you can eat, what you can, well, not what you can eat, but they'll tell you what you should eat, what you shouldn't eat, what you should drink, what you shouldn't drink. Can't smoke here, can't smoke there, can't say this, can't say that. Politically correct. That's not comedy because you're being, you're offending. Oh, shut up. I mean, some of the things I used to say um, back then, you would not get away with it in this day and age. And yet, people back then, never took any offence to it. Do you get what I'm saying? They're just like, oh, it's a joke, it's comedy. But now, it's like, oh, you can't say that. It's like, oh, it just winds me up, it really does. I just, I just think, we should all say what we want to say. Um, as long as it's in a joke context, not like, it's taking the piss out of someone being horrible. If it's you're just joking, you're just joking. Like, I can make jokes about myself. If someone said to me, cool, look at your goop bucket, hanging over your nevers, I'd be like, yeah, no, I don't care. I don't care and people are too sensitive stop being so sensitive there's no need jokes a joke but yeah if you ain't watched any of the on the buses um i mean some is so bad you sit there with like um, is it called mind my mind, mind your language or something i watched a couple then i was like candice that i was like ah. i got away with saying that i can't repeat the things that was said but it was allowed um, and that was the other one. Love Thy Neighbour. Listen, if you've never seen Love Thy Neighbour, your mouth will drop. Your mouth will drop. I was like... They just said... You wouldn't believe it. You wouldn't believe it, but it was taken in jest back then. But not now. Oh, no, no, no. Not I say, you can say what you want about me. I couldn't care less. Anyone, that is. Come on. Because you know what I think as well? When you've got illnesses, right, you have enough on your plate, yeah? And I think to myself, you know, sticks and stones. If someone wants to say something to me, I, I don't listen anyway. I don't believe it. If someone said to me, Alicia, you're ugly, I think, God, you're so jealous. But I don't care. I'm one of these people who just don't care. If people try to troll me, oh, I'll be pissing myself laughing. I'm like, say what you want. I don't care. I really honestly don't care. Luckily enough, I haven't had to any trolls. I think I had a couple maybe a couple of years ago. One texted me and said, you're disgusting. Oh, I just laughed. And then what was another one someone wrote to me? Oh yeah, I was showing the colour of my hair and someone put, uh, uh, oh, no one's interested in the colour of your hair. I said, well, you obviously want to reply. <laughs> but, you know, it's just like, I don't care. I just sit and laugh. I've been jibber jabbering for 12 minutes again. I've got too much to say for myself, and I? But anyway, okay, I'm going to crack on with this. But anyway, the moral of my story is, and the motto of my story today is, please, people, don't take yourselves too seriously. If there's people that are saying mean things to you, sticks and stones, who cares? I don't know why people allow things to hurt them so badly. That shit would never hurt me, excuse my language, but it just wouldn't. I would just think you've got nothing better to do. You've obviously got sad little lives and that's why they do things like that. And if you look at something and you go, oh no, that's racist or that's sexist or that's... If it's a joke and it's a joke context, I just think, can we not take a joke anymore? Can we not? Can someone just tell me, please? Can we not take a joke anymore? You still love Benny Hill. Who loved Benny Hill? Benny Hill, oh, he was good. And Tommy Cooper. Shot out, shot out. Oh, yeah. Anyway, I've been talking too long. Let me get on with me hole. So, my lovely Julie, she sent me a bag of stuff, right? Right, first and foremost, she sent me these. And they are pillowcases, like square pillowcases. And uh, they kind of remind me a bit of Fendi. Like Fendi. So, I need to just get... Yeah, that insert's too big. I need to get a couple of smaller inserts for them. So she's got me two of them. They're gorgeous. Aren't they? Oh, they're stunning. Um, and then she got me this brand new uh, River Island purse. And that lovely? That's a bit of me, that is. So. Like so. Tell you, I'm sweating under my pits. 
Where is this open? Open, open. Oh, that's it. And that's the coin section. Like so. Lovely, isn't it? I know. I know it is. And then she sent me these. Um... Because she had said she'd tried to do a gel now. These are gel. These ones here are gel. Yeah, a like hard, fully gel. But she said she hadn't really done too well with them. So she sent me the soft gel nail tips to try out. So I've got them. Oh. As you can see. Uh, and then she sent me this... Dr. Botanicals and it's pomegranate superfood regenerating sleeping mask. That sounds really good. Should we open it? Open it. Looks like so. Oh, I might put a bit on the back of my hand so I can. Oh, it's done up. Shoot, it's brand new. Brand spanking new. Oh yeah, it is brand. Let's put a bit on. I don't want to waste it. I don't like wasting things. Do you know what I mean? Just checking the time. Prove your love. Got to prove your love. That was Taylor Dane and Prove Your Love, if you're wondering. Can't. What am I doing that for? Like, you can see, what burk? I don't really smell of anything, but it's quite a nice consistency. Or as my sister used to say, constituency. That was meant to be a consistency when she was making a cake. Yeah. Uh, and then she got me, she said this stuff is amazing. So it's Lacura Miracle Oil uh, for face and body. Um, let me open it. Oh, look at that! That's like it's got beautiful bottles, fleur de lis, fleur de lis, miracle oil for face, body, and hair. Oh, it's lovely! Look how shiny that is. Beautiful, beautiful that is. Bit on the arm. I like that. That is gorgeous. That is gorgeous, and I will put that in the barnet as well. Make it in good form, you know, good condition. So I've got that. This is. Oh my god! I sprayed a little bit. Now I don't usually use dry shampoo, but I'm going to start to. She sent me this Rituals Elixir collection and it's refreshing dry shampoo in Botswellia. Hang on, Bo no, not Bots. Botswellia and Shikarkai. Shikarkai, I think it says there. Uh. It smells divine. Two hundred mil for rituals. I bet that's quite expensive as well. I've just spat everywhere. I hope it didn't eat you in the eye. Oh, uh, and then she sent me some more soft gel nail tips. These ones are ever so short, so I'm probably going to gift them on because they are bare short, and I do like my nails quite long. As you can see, so them as well. Oh, and then she sent me the Born Pretty. It's a nail prep dehydrator acid free primer kit. So when I do my acrylics, I mean, I've, I've already got um, dehydrator and preps primers, but you can never have enough. So they're like so. And so before the acrylic goes on or the, the builder gel, whatever you're using, you just have to prep your nails. If you don't prep your nails properly, they will lift. Um, and you really do need, uh, I don't know what the difference between an acid primer 
and then also non-acid primaries i mean i know one of them is acid obviously and one's not but what's the difference i don't actually know and i've been doing my nails for years <laughs> um and then she got these gorgeous and i'm gonna look absolutely gorgeous with it um beautiful like beach bag now i don't know when i'm going to the beach it could be next year it could be in 25 years i mean i don't know but when i go i'm taking this with me yes i am milano now i see it it's like a dupe a dupe of something i don't know milano italy but yeah so nice little beach bag yeah and then she bought me oh, she sent me look at this gorgeous dkmy makeup bag i oh, know i know you're jealous you're like god just one file i'm like i know anyway so i reckon i must get on your lot's nerves sometimes i get on my nerves if i get on my own nerves i must get on your nerves I do get on your nerves, tell me. I won't be offended. If it tells you nothing, it offends me. I'll just be like, oh, all right, I'll take it on the chin. The second one. There yeah. you I'll take it on the chin. I will, honestly. DKMY. And in here, I tell you, some gorgeous bits. So, she sent me this Lacura Vitamin C and Turmeric Oil. And oh, oh, look at that! Looks really like expensive, posh. So, I'll gather this is for the old bump, right? Um, I can't see with these glasses on, but I'm gathering it is. Directions for use massage onto clean skin. Wait a few minutes for product to absorb before applying a moisturizer. Use twice a week or when your skin needs an extra boost. Yeah, oh my nose, oh, so itchy. I'm not picking my schnoz, I promise. It's, it's, it, it itches me. All right, it just itches. Anyway, so that's that. And then she got me this Nip and Fab Exfoliate. Targets congested, congested pores and oily skin, uneven skin tone. It's glycolic fix overnight, pure fine gel, oh yeah. And it looks like this. Let's open. Open it. I said open it. I said open it. looks like so glycolic acid i have sent uh, some glycolic acid uh i think penny sent it to me ages ago a revolution is it revolution well i put it on one night to go to bed oh my god it proper burnt off my skin when it does that you know it's gonna work i mean i've not used it since because it got a bit sore i need to get it out and use it again um and then I couldn't believe it. She sent me a two meal Tom Ford fabulous. She'll have a whiffy woo wah. So that's Tom Ford fabulous. And then she sent me. Where's the other one? Oh. Then she sent me a Tom Ford Lost Cherry and two meal again. Oh, I like that one. Oh, yeah. And then she got me Tom Ford Neroli Portofino. Portofino. Is that good Italian? Is it Italian anyway? I think so. So have a whiff. Have a whiff. Oh yeah, have a whiff. Let's choose the other arm. 
Okie dokie, or the hand. Oh, that one, no. No, that reminds me of. Was it 1411? It was really back in the older days. It was like a cologne. Was it 1411? Was that what it was called? Someone help me. Well, that one smells like 1411. I think it was called 1411. I'm not sure. That is Neroli Portofino. So she got me that. Then she got me these, but I am not going to spray them because these are the new ones now. What you have to do, you have to pull it up and spray. Uh, but I've got Alien anyway. So there's two Aliens there. I've got this one already. Um, so they are alright to go in my bag. If I wear Alien, whatever day I wear Alien, I'll put them in my bag. And then this one, Angel Muse. I've not smelt this one, I don't think. She sent me that. Did not do well, I know, I know. And then this is called Mimo Paris. And it's Orange Blossom Absolute Tuberose Absolute White Musk. I'm going to open it it's not been opened. I'm going to put it there. Do you know what? I remember doing that once. I'll tell you. And, um, hang on, let me just have a whiff you guys. Oh my God. Oh my God. I've got to get this one. I love it. I want it. I'm getting it. I am, and I am getting it. This one is beautiful. I bet it's very expensive, though. And then I'm like, oh, I've got to get it. Oh my god, that is so good. Martha. I oh, had Big Bertha, and this is Martha. This is Martha, look. Martha, is that... Oh, I bet this is stupid money. I can smell it's expensive. It's just really crazy expensive. I bet this is... We're looking about 300 quid for this. Oh my god, it's so good. Oh, I can't tell you how beautiful that smells. The Julie... She, I mean, you could have sent me a 30 mil bottle. <laughs> but she's she's going to give me up a card, tell ya. Oh, that is stunning. I love that. What was I saying anyway? There was that one. Oh, that was it about here. I remember one time I got into a perfume shop at Lakeside. This was years ago. And it was only on in hindsight realising the way they were looking at me, and then I realised why. I think I might have told you guys this years ago. Not years ago, I've not had a channel years ago, but quite a lot of videos back. Um, I've been spraying all these perfumes in like down down at the old lakeside there, yeah, lakeside there, lakeside furrock. Um, I'd sprayed them all up my arm, yeah. So, and I'd sprayed one there, like I just put that there. But as I'm walking, I'm going. Well, I, and there was these fellas coming towards me, and I know they thought I was smelling my pits. And it was only as I got past, I laughed myself because they were like, oh. I was going to say, excuse me, but you can't, can you? Can I mention, excuse me, excuse me, I weren't smelling my pits, because then it makes me look like I was smelling my pits. I weren't smelling my pits, so I'd put perfume from the perfume shop and that up to here. Or was it from, might have been Debenhams. Is it Debenhams? What is the place at the end there? One of the two. But anyway, it's where And I remember another time I was in the car with my sister. <laughs> you know when you were school and you were kids, and you go, mmm. To people like that well <laughs> well i know we did when we were kids don't know about you lot but um me and my sister was in her car and this was again years ago i was probably only in my early 20s and we'd got mac and d's right anyway we'd eaten it and where i used to live um there was like it was called the sporting green this pub on the corner here, the sporting green and it had like railings outside and there was a few fellas standing <laughs> standing there well as we've got to the roundabout Obviously, my sisters had to stop to let someone go, and then we were going right. But there was these fellas there, and I looked at the window, and I was going, getting chips, bits of food out my teeth with my tongue, <laughs> getting out the window doing it. Next thing they're going to me, 
Oh, they thought I was going to them. Ooh, what were you doing at school? Oh my god. I won't, obviously. Anyway. Oh my god, that stuff is beautiful. Anyway, then she sent me um, some aphrodisiac by Ann Summers. This is body lotion, yeah? Now, aphrodisiac, uh, a lot of these um, Ann Summers bits uh, are meant to be like pheromones. So it will make the opposite sex think you're absolutely gorgeous. Well, I don't need any aphrodisiac. I can tell you. Well, unless I, you know, I'm meeting my Tom, and then I might. I feel I need a bit more than aphrodisiac for my Tom to wanna, you know, say to me, "Oh, you're a bit crummy." Do you know what I mean? I think I need more than aphrodisiac. But you know, it's worth a go. You know. Um, and then she got me this a a puff. Apothecary, apothecary, revive with shea butter, lavender butter, a hobo oil, rosy oil, cleanse and glow, nourishing, cleansing butter. Looks like this. Focus. What's it for? It's a. Uh... Oh, okay. It's set. It's kind of like, look, like um, wax. It says to use with clean and clean and dry hands. Massage a small amount of cleanser into the skin. Soak a muslin cloth in warm water. Well, if you ain't got a muslin muslin cloth, on sh cloth, cloth, sure flannel would be all right. In warm water and place over your face for up to up to a minute. Take. A few deep breaths and then use the muslin cloth to wash away the cleanser. Avoid direct contact with the eyeballs. Yeah, so what's that? And then she gave me some milky jelly white nail gel, but it's not been opened. Which is, um, yeah, soak off poly gel in milky white, as I just said, keep repeating myself, like so. And then these are like Valentino, I believe, um, like Valentino dupes. Why is it caught up? Hang on about. Oh, that's it. I thought it was like a little puzzle trying to get it out. Yeah, Valentino earrings. And gold. Gold, gold, gold finger. And gold, that's what I find. Uh, and then solid extender nail gel. Oh, there's some solid builder gel there. That's what I use. And that's in a nude colour. Good finger. As you see. And then she got me these really, really cute earrings. Oh, oh. one minute. Bloody liver and gallbladder. These gold ones, like Cat Slater. Alfie, I don't want a baby anymore. I'm with Phil, alright? And that's terrible. Worst Cat Slater impersonation ever. So I got them. Um, then she got me this beautiful bangle. I like this bangle, look. Isn't it nice? I'll put it on. Um, how's it open? Uh -huh. oh, 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 oh. oh, yeah. Looks nice, doesn't it? And then she got me last but not least uh, a lovely, um, this is like a dupe Bulgari ring. And gold. 
and that fits me there look beautiful bulgari ring and i've had a couple like this before they're just like um like baguette rings they're called baguette rings hang on i said i put it on there that looks nice and then lastly is this one and it says it's engraved always with you and it's like a little hug ring look it's got like hug hug arms hug like oh, cute like that look Yeah, so cute. So that is my stuff from Majuli. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Oh, <laughs> she back. Hope you enjoyed this haul. Um, if you did, please um, like my channel. Um, so, so should I say subscribe to my channel? Hit your notification bell and give me a thumbs up and of course write me some comments if you want only if you want to as i say and once i reach i'm not that far away now once i reach 1005 uh there and about so i'll be doing a humongous giveaway oh yes i am also what i might do if i get the time i have just found out that i can sing on tiktok the full songs with the backing tracks so i need to carry to help me with it because i'm not very up to you know i'm not very good so i'm gonna get carry to help me with it and you're gonna be hearing the dulcets mate i'll tell you i'm gonna start busting out some songs and a lot of 80s songs uh, you need to hear um a couple of songs that were written for me i will set my uh stereo ones and i'll play them for you and i'll tell you i'll say that i've been saying that for months don't listen to me don't listen to me because i talk shit excuse my french i do sometimes i do i do i ain't gonna lie sometimes i'm like lisa shut up you div because i say something and then months later and i still ain't done it listen i keep saying i keep saying i oh, know i'm not gonna go into it listen i'm not I'm in a weird mood today as well. I'm a weirdo. I'm such a weirdo sometimes. <laughs> you either love me or you hate me. I'm like Marmite. And you better love me. Otherwise, I'd be upset. <laughs> They're like, why don't you like me? And I'll do my chins and everything. Like, oh. <laughs> anyway, listen. So, like I say, no, I will. I'm going to look into that because I really do. You know, singing is good for the soul, all right? Singing is good for the soul. When I get right into it, I'm going to set up my karaoke box. Well, it ain't even mine, it's Callie's. She paid about £300 for it, oh, ages ago. But it's got a proper, it's got a sign houser, sign houser, uh, a good old microphone. Um, and, um, yeah, so I can put backing tracks on there. I can sing, I can record them, and I can just put them on TikTok. So once I start doing that, I will give you, lot my TikTok channel. And obviously, hopefully, you'll head over there. Well, if you want to hear me sing, you might not want to hear me sing, but if you do, then it'll all be on TikTok, because I can't do it on here. Uh, anyway, yeah, so that's it from me. Um, it's currently Friday, but you'll probably see this Saturday. Um, so have a fantastic weekend, whatever you're doing. I went to my sister's other night, I've been eating alive by mozzies. I've got all red lumps all over my legs. Yeah, anyway, so, yeah, just as I say, uh, if you can, like, like subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up and all that me okay uh it really really would make my day so anyway i love you all very much i'll see you in my next video god knows that when that's gonna be but i will see you soon love you all bye